Today we're going to be going over how to get a cinematic look with your Canon SL2 or Canon 200D. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets. We do tutorials and tips and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, so that, uh, if that's something that you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell. So I recently did a review on uh, the Canon SL2 or Canon 200D and uh, I just uh, wanted to show you that although it is considered a beginner camera, um, there is so much you can do with it. And so what we're going to talk about today are your camera settings. We're going to go over how to add some additional presets uh, and that's going to help you get a more cinematic look, which uh, it absolutely is possible with this uh, quote unquote beginner camera. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the frames per second. Now, uh, with YouTube, most uh, most YouTubers use uh, 30 frames per second, but to get that cinematic um, look, we're going to actually change it to 24 frames per second. Now shutter speed, you want to uh, multiply the frames per second by two. Uh, so the closest that we can get it is going to be 50. Now for ISO, we want the ISO to be as low as possible. So if you can get it around 100 to 200, that's gonna be best for you. That way you don't have a lot of noise in your footage. Now, as far as adding picture styles, we're gonna be talking about C-Log. The reason why we're gonna be using C-Log is uh, if you wanna be able to do color grading, it's gonna give you the flattest picture that you can get. However, with this particular website um, that we're gonna be grabbing the, uh, the picture styles from or picture profiles, uh, with this package, you're actually getting multiple um, styles. So if you don't wanna deal with color grading, you can actually just use some baked in awesome styles. This package actually comes with a lot. I have no affiliation to it. Um, I just think it's a fantastic package because it comes with so much. Now you want to make sure you know where you uh, where you've downloaded those files. So you just want to plug in your camera to your computer. Now you might see uh, it kind of grayed out when you first open it up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in picture mode and also in a creative mode in order to get to that. Now I've already set some up, but I'm just gonna uh, set it back that way. You can see how to uh, actually apply it. So I'm just gonna grab it from the folder and I'm looking for the C log, but again, you can add any of these styles. They're all pretty awesome. All right, and now you've got it in your camera. Next, you're just gonna select the picture style. Uh, in this particular video, we place it in the third custom. And once you see it in there, then you're all set up. Alright, 
Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, again, if this is something that you're interested in hearing more of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. I really do appreciate you stopping by. All right, until the next time, see you later.